Oh my god, delicious. Oh, and I guess you guys were already here. Hey guys, it's me, Scotty. Uh pretty busy in this mac and cheese uh situation. But I want to take some time to, of course, shell our Patreon. So that's what I'm doing here right now. Uh just last week, we did six hours of all things British. And of course, uh, you can imagine pretty insufferable. When we cover things like two little people arguing about dwarf wrestling in the UK or just some really strange British commercials. Even this weird dude that just wants to soak in his bin. And why? Because it's a bloody beautiful day. And my belly cries out for mac and cheese. So let's just, let's, let's kind of wrap this up. I need you to do something for me right now. I need you to stop eating that mac and cheese that you probably went out and got when you saw me eating some and head over to the Pessimist Productions Patreon. Right now, you, yes, you, can sign up for a free seven-day trial to watch the British Gauntlet and, of course, a ton of other stuff. Uh, you want to know some other gauntlets we've done? We did furries, Matt Walsh, conspiracy theories, and we've done all kinds of stuff. And the word on the street is we've got an even deadlier one coming up this month. And it's only going to be on the Pessimist Productions Patreon. Guys, oh, I'm getting weak. Oh, please go sign up so I can keep on buying mac and cheese. That's it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't look at me. Get out of here. Why? You are live. Welcome to our British gauntlet. Oh. Uh, British, uh, uh, British fucking gauntlet. It's hey, time for hey. the fucking British gauntlet. I'm gonna tell you right now. Other gauntlets we've done, I've always thought like sequel potential. There ain't gonna be no sequel to this one. This is a one and done right here. Uh, no. There ain't gonna be no British gauntlet too. We're gonna handle what needs to be handled up and move on with our fucking lives. I don't want to do it. Well, shit. Paul's already fucking do it. tapping. Paul's just Paul like, taps, <laughs> dude. Nah, nah, nah. Why don't you want to do it, Paul? I just uh, I don't want to do it. I'm not in the fucking mood, bro. Yeah. <laughs> do you think you'd ever be in the mood? Sometimes I'm more in the mood than I am now. Yeah. I'm not in the mood. <sighs> don't want it. Don't want to fucking face it. Don't want to spend the next six hours of my fucking life up to my neck and fucking yuck mouths. What am I going to do? I don't know. Terrifying thought, man. Terrifying to think we're just not going to, we're not going to like, like, this is the only English we're going to hear is talking to each other for the next six hours. Here, let me just fucking give you a little taste of how bad it's going to be, all right? No. Oh. Some Winston Churchill quotes right here. At any rate, that is what we're going to try to do. <laughs> wow. That's truly, right. <laughs> truly one of the great. <laughs> Truly one of the great minds. Aquatious. That is the result of his Majesty's government. <laughs> oh no. What have we done? Oh, We're not no. even going to be able to fucking... What if this, this is considered one of the greatest leaders of this country, too. Of the United Kingdom. Oh, wow. What the fuck did he say? <laughs> you heard him. The hospital ships which brought off many thousands of British and French wounded. The hospital ships. Suddenly, old Joe Biden is seeming a little bit more fucking. And we must expect another blow to be struck almost immediately. <laughs> what? What? North of the Amia Abville Yap. Uh, I'll be led into an ignominious. <laughs> oh, but like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Are they playing him backwards or some shit? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe we've got, maybe we've got, maybe he's speaking backwards. We've got to reverse this shit and play it. To be unduly fair, Mike sucked ass back then. I mean, that is being unduly fair because you can hear other people that spoke at the same time. 
Yep. You know about Roosevelt's famous speech, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. I mean, we can understand him fine. Dude, Churchill was just drunk, wasn't he? Yeah, he's just a drunk. Fuck. Wasn't it? I remember like seeing a video a while back of somebody who tried. They were like, we're going to drink like Winston Churchill today. No, you're not. And uh, they were obliterated by like noon. Jeez. So he was, he was like a, a functioning high, alcoholic, dude. High guy functioning fucking, alcoholic. Dude, he drank like a fucking fish. He smoked like a fucking chimney. I mean, come on. That actually makes him kind of cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. That, that aspect of him was cool. Oh, dude, he was a fucking glutton. Yeah, dude, Winston Churchill was like a person. I mean, Winston Churchill was kind of like a rock star. He was fucking cool. Churchill's way smarter than me. I mean, yeah, but he can't express it, you know. Okay. Like I can be heard and understood, so I guess that may, that puts me out ahead. Maybe Ozzy's saying legit words after all. Maybe I would say Ozzy actually is uh, easier to understand show. than the Winston Churchill shit that we just listened to. Uh, it depends. You know what helps with Ozzy a lot? If you see a video of Ozzy, it's a lot easier. Like, if you just listen to him, it's kind of difficult to understand what the fuck he's saying. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a while since I've listened to Ozzy talk, so maybe, I, maybe I'm forgetting I heard how an much an interview with is. him uh, not too long ago on Ozzy's Burnyard. Uh, promoting, like, I think he just put out an album, and it was kind of difficult to understand what the fuck he was saying. I mean, that's not. It, well, also, he's like, Ozzy's been through a lot of shit, dude. He's he's, he's old. He's fucked up. So and he's yeah, got like a list for now. Uh, he's got a list. surgery or whatever the fuck that happened. Well, the way he describes it is he fucking like went to get into bed. And he essentially jumped in like he was going to jump into his bed and he jumped on the floor. <laughs> he missed his bed and hit, hit in a fucking marble floor. <laughs> that's what a stupid way to get injured. I fucked him up bad, though. Ugh. Like he, like he, even after a couple of years of surgeries and other shit, he is still not being able to tour. Yeah, all because he fucking jumped in the wrong place. When you get to a certain age, I mean, yeah, where you jump and where you land is critical. Yeah, fuck. Fucking crazy, Scotty. Scotty. That's, That's fucking, fucking crazy. crazy, Scotty. That's mental, Scotty. That's mental. You're absolutely mental, mate. I'm not going to do any British accents this entire night. Good, out, of pro out of protest. I oh, refuse buddy. to signal boost them. <clears throat> I want to be understood. I think their as, population's on the decline anyways. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me go as look. bad as furries are, I trust a furry with a child before a dirty Brit. Damn. Damn. I mean, Just furries because... do kind of look like children's entertainers. Yeah. And we saw that the furries were accurate. They The kids do like them. They went in that McDonald's, and those kids were like, wow, wow, weird furry guy. We love you. Like, what the so, fuck? yeah, they're not they're not old enough to realize that that's weird yet. Oh, this is scary. I mean, the, the population of the UK is increasing. It's not increasing by a lot, but it's still increasing. That That is a scary thought. There's more of these. Is it increasing through immigration or through them breeding, though? Hopefully, oh, it's through immigration. Yeah, hopefully, it's some other means. But I'll tell you what, they're pretty good at getting people to become fucking British, though. They're pretty good at it, TJ. I don't know. You know, when you uh, when you try to pull that, like, do you know who I am shit, usually it helps if you are somebody, right? Do you know who I am? No. Well, here's a guy that tries it out, even though... He's just, he's no fucking buddy. Wait, what? Yeah, he's just like, you if know, you're who nobody I am? That, that doesn't work. That's the whole fucking point of it. Do you know who I am? I'm Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering? Yeah. Do you know who I am?
Man, look at this fucking like gray, rain soaked fucking depression that they live under over there. Can you imagine, dude? Yeah, it's uh and it's like this a lot of the time too. I would have to imagine, dude. We went there. That's that, that's all it was. The entire time we were there it was just rainy and depressing. Dude, Ronnie Pickering is about to have your fucking ass. Do you know who I am? I'll go when the cans have gone. All right, go now. Whoa, these guys are driving super unsafe. They're on the wrong side of the road. Whoa. Oh, that, that car was doing it right. Oh, shit. Ronnie now Pickering's that... pulling you over, dude. You better fucking... What's your problem? Where are you, mate? What? You got a problem? You are? What do you mean about problem? You what do you mean you are a problem? You, you fucking muppet. It's no need for that. What? You, you cunt. What? Fucking hanging <laughs> about like that. I and live in the car. You live in the cars. I pulled, I went round you. Yeah. And then you yeah. started yeah. fucking fucking yeah. yeah. Round you. Yeah. Oh my God. There's not what? a brain cell between these two you fucking, fucking morons. You fucking muppet. Dude, one thing. I, I've taken a look at what we've got for this gauntlet. I'm going to tell you this. That's not going to change. This entire time, we're, you're going to spend with some of the dumbest motherfuckers you've ever seen in your life. All dumb Brits. That's one of the things that bugs me about the Brits is they're always like harping on how stupid Americans are. But this is what this is what constitutes your oh, country right here. Stream is blocked, guys. Whatever video you're playing, TJ, I guess is copyright the Ron, protected. The Ronnie Pickering video is copyrighted. Ooh. Yeah, Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> I guess Ronnie Pickering is really defensive of his content. Okay. Fair enough. My bad. Sorry, Ronnie. Damn. Dude, Ronnie, don't fuck around. Sorry about that, Ronnie Pickering. Dude, that's garbage. Fuck that, dude. Sucks. We didn't even get to the best part. How are you going to fucking... I'll have to copyright just a, like a fucking banal argument between a couple of idiots in the middle of the day. It's I probably owned know. by like Viral Hog or some shit company. Yeah, just go skip back to that the important part, TJ, and just show us that. I mean, they'll probably still get mad at us, but whatever. Fuck them. If you just do shit. it real quick and just show us the conclusion right. or whatever. I'll just show you like when they're arguing here. Oh, fool. Do what? Do what? Do what? Do what? Do what? Do what? Who are you then? Ronnie Pickering. Who? Oh. Ronnie Pickering. Who? Oh. Ronnie Pickering. Who the fuck's that? Yeah, me. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's <laughs> my fucking Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> Ronnie Pickering. So, hopefully, because I didn't show that, but we're fine. Yeah, we're I'll, fine. I'll show you. You got to see how he fucking says it when he says, It's me. Oh. Yeah, me. No, oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, me. Oh yeah, it's mine. Ronnie fucking Pickering. Ronnie Pickering. Yeah, you know how it goes. Ronnie fucking Pickering, dude. So on top of these Brits being fucking chuckle fucks with no brain cells in their heads, they also apparently copyright themselves being fucking dumb fucks yelling at each other on the road. Like, how can you copyright that? That's not some fucking like work of creative endeavor they or something. Yeah, whoever uploaded the video sold it to a company that is monetizing it. 100%. That's exactly what that is. What's the problem here? Will YouTube stop the stream? Yeah. YouTube if we kept fuck. playing it, they would. Yeah, if we didn't fucking, like, obey, they might they might do that. Yeah, yeah they yeah, jerked they our leash, and we have now had to come to heal. Yeah. We can't show you the Ronnie Pickering video because it's too much. Because it's a fucking YouTube. We want we want to violate the the copyright of the creative genius who came up with two British morons arguing on the street. Because Dude, Ronnie Picker, it's Ronnie Picker, it's someone else's intellectual property. Okay. Do you know who I am, TJ? Can I donate during a private stream? You can through Streamlabs, but not through a uh, YouTube super chat. Oh my god! What in the fuck? Why does this keep happening? Because you insulted Ronnie Pickering, TJ. Stop that, bro. Fuck you. Don't be a piece of shit. The internet like used twice. to be so cool. I know, for like five <laughs> minutes. TJ, did you just flip off a machine? Yeah. <laughs> Flipped off the fucking camera, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, 
bro. It's done like because three times it can't now. Be, it can't be. It can't be offended by your gesture, though. I know, but you never fucking yelled at a fucking inanimate object. But like, you fucking piece of shit. I've yelled at it. I don't think I've like flipped one off before. <laughs> well, I do. I do it. It's probably gonna happen every thirty minutes. I know. I don't know. I I don't have time to go look and fucking see what's going on back there. So I'm just got to fucking deal with it. It's just gonna be my fucking burden to bear. I mean, Scotty's fucking camera's been flickering for like three years, and he didn't fucking. It is fix not it, flick. So. That's a lie. So whatever. Fuck that. It's a fucking dirty lie told by TJ. My camera does not fucking flicker. It's a fucking lying sack of shit, TJ. Cardboard can't talk back. Yeah, the Brits are trying to shut us down because they're fucking scared of what we're gonna do. They're fucking little shitty ass country. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen that happen on one of our shows ever. I know. And who knows how many of the other clips who knows how many of the other clips will fucking do it, you know? Like fucking litigious. Can I get away with playing bits. this? Is this fine? Oh my wow. on Facebook thinking you're bad, mate. I lied every last one of your birds if I'm bombing one by one. Fucking bear what most <laughs> I'm gonna get my aprilla out and do burnouts on your front lawn and then I'm Oof. What? <laughs> Is it supposed to be like threatening or something? Is the gauntlet almost over? <laughs> <laughs> dude an Amer an, a, a 90 year old american grandmother in a wheelchair could beat these fucking idiots asses dude dude this is ridiculous i should have had someone go and fucking caption these or something man let's see how the youtube captioning system does can can you guys uh all right i'm gonna see like what, what do we got here Pics on Facebook thinking you're bad, mate. I lied every last one of your birds if I'm bombing one by one. <laughs> fucking bear what most. Nope. <laughs> the no. closed captioning also Bang has Ramos. no fucking clue, dude. Is this supposed to be like. Is, are they actually trying to be like intimidating right now? Or. Or is this just like they're. They I think so, it? yeah. Is this like intentional cringe or is this like. I'm gonna get my aprilla out and do burnouts on your front lawn and then I'm gonna chuck mud bombs at your nan's windows, you silly bastards. Think I'm a fucking ding mush, eh? I'm gonna be burning headlock and I'll shave a fucking bald. <laughs> you think you don't read my comments on Facebook? I'll take it out of my bonnet and carry on driving, you little dings. What's wrong that? The fuck? Uh, what? What? <laughs> God, they're such fucking loud mouths too. It's like not not just that they're unintelligible, but they're also just like screaming. Dude, this is like the kind of shit. Like if you saw some like American uh teenagers and shit doing this, it would already be cringe. But just the fact that it's this mush mouth British dialect brings it to like a whole other fucking realm of cringe. I can't say, understand the fucking like, literally can understand them. words. Yeah. yeah. A like, you can pick words. up you can pick up a word here and there. That's about it. Facebook subject. This is a message for Phil Trout. You want to take piss out of my curtains, mate? Have you seen stay on your bird's beef curtains, mate? You can swing from flap to flap, mate, and they fucking stink. <laughs> I understood most of that. Said something about swinging on his wife's beef, beef curtains or something. Oh, oh called shit. her. He said his bird's meat curtains, which I'm assuming that's like his girl, and that his girl's meat curtains stink. So he's saying your girlfriend's got a stinky, loose pussy. I guess. And you can swing from flap to flap. I heard that. Yeah. Some fucking trapeze artist, dude. I like, so the, was... I like the imagery there. Yeah, I just wish it was like, you know, a little bit more intelligible, but you know, hey, at least it's creative. Kenzie Lee, Scummy Mummy Award goes to you, you little slag. When I see you in school in the morning, I'm going to take you out them PJs and them fucking up boots and throw you in a fucking farm bush. And how are you going to tell... That was weak. Throw you on I a fucking you a fuck farm good. bush. What's a fucking farm bush? What, yeah, the fuck, yeah, what the fuck's a farm bush? Who knows? Take you out it's your fucking English, and your PJs dude. and throw you in a farm bush? What? The fuck was that horse shit? Tell me to get a job when your dad's outside job center picking up dockers in your sister's knickers. And if we're on about your sister's knickers, you want to tell Scruffy bitch to give him a wash? I put my hand down there other week, mate. Pulled him down, bro. Fucking hell, I thought they were two-tone tiger stripes, mush. Fucking skidders all over them, dirty bitch, mate. She needs to put on me fucking wash. You think you... <laughs> your sister's panties have got skid marks in it. That's what I... Yeah, that's what I got from that, too. That's what I got from that one. Yeah, he that's likes... an insult to him, though. 
Well, he's saying that he's saying some other dude's sister. He's you know he's saying it to someone else. Dick though, man, you will know about it when I fucking Batista bomb you on it middle of Asda and show an eggplant up a fanny the fucking dust bag. <laughs> what the fuck was that weak shit? Batista bomb you? Come on. This one's gonna break. These me. guys look like they're like, they're like five feet tall. <laughs> they're like five feet tall. They're gonna fucking Batista bomb anybody? No. Yeah. I don't even think you couldn't Batista bomb a fucking toothpick, dude. Shut up. Dude, you this your ass kicked by a five year old. This dork here with the braces, I feel like I can smell his breath through internet and time. Yeah, like I want to just like draw like one of those like green fog <laughs> clouds coming out. Like, <laughs> sounds like Kuno from Disco Elysium. That's an insult to Kuno. You think you're sick, man? I'll twang your daddy dick with a shot on I'm fist bumping you now. I'll the fuck. Your face bump? What? Hold on. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try again on that one. What? You think you're sheep, man? I'll you think you're sheep, man? Well, you not think we're gonna shot him? I'm <laughs> this, is not, this is not words. Flat out, not words, bro. You're yeah, not yeah. speaking what words. The, yeah, what the fuck did he even say? What does that even mean? Something about Facebook, Yanan. Does anyone know what the fuck this motherfucker is saying? Uh, you I know don't. what. Now that Paul has fucking said it, I can literally feel the breath. Oh, yeah, dude. This is like hot, humid breath. Ugh. I have not even... I've been so congested, I haven't fucking smelled anything in like five days. But the first thing I smell is the imaginary breath coming off this kid's fucking nasty brace face. I'll fucking care if your dad's head with a kind of spam and throat grip your nan until veins pop in her head. Silly bitch. <laughs> Mate, if you're gonna fucking carry on, I'll skin your mum and wear it as a suit and I'll go shag your dad in it, mush. Okay. Damn. Say what? Say he was gonna skin your mom, wear like a suit, and shag your dad in it, so. That's dedication. That's like some yeah. Hellraiser shit. Hellraiser! Express smells like garlic and beer. They don't have garlic over there, they don't have seasoning, so it can't be garlic. Or it just smells like fucking river trout or some shit. River flounder. <laughs> Boil river flounder. I like postulated some kind of like British version of Doritos that like are not as good. And then I made his breath smell like that in my mind. Because he looks like if he was an American, he'd be eating Doritos. But I'm assuming because he's British, he's probably eating some kind of like weird knockoff fucking British Dorito. Yeah, they had Doritos, I'm pretty sure. Nah. Nah, mate. You know shit, PJ. Nah. You're wrong about that. Smells, smells like, like jellied eel. Mush peas on chips, mate. It smells like fucking he just took a bite of a raw onion. <laughs> <clears throat> That's our seasoning over there. Add some raw onion to it. Fucking great. Well, that was a good gauntlet. I agree, Gage. Um, you know, it was tough. You know, we fucking we soldiered on. I mean, uh, thank yeah, you. I mean, Paul, there was TJ. There was some times in there. I didn't fucking quite think we were gonna make it, but you know, here we are at the end of our. Uh, it's our, I think our shortest ever gauntlet, just twenty one minutes. Yeah, it was a good one, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, not to hit the hay. Uh, good night, some, everyone. We hit some highs. We hit some lows. You know, it was uh a magical journey you know we really learned a lot and uh i'm, I'm... the bait route was to die for here this one might cheer you up a little i doubt it why are you so angry about what these guys are doing should dwarfinators show be banned no dwarfinators that Fuck sounds like no. the best show ever <sighs> yeah are well, they fucking kidding, kidding me that's like that's like the dumbest question in history. Should Dwarf and Ayers show be banned? Fuck no. There you go. There's your answer. No. And we're not doing anything alone. We've had huge support um, from across the Dwarfism community for our protests. Little People of America, the man on TV mentioned about the difference between America and here. Well, Little People of America condemned Dwarf Wrestling. In fact, they published campaign materials against it. Mm -hmm. And last night, they endorsed our position. We published a statement on our Facebook and Twitter. Um, we believe that Dwarf Wrestling is demeaning and disempowering. It reduces
then Should stop help. doing it. Yeah, I mean, like, if if there's dwarfs out there that want to do it, like, I assume for, like, the recompense or whatever like isn't that their fucking decision like why should you be able to just be like you're a dwarf and i'm a dwarf therefore i can tell you what you're allowed to do dude fucking hornswoggle should fucking bust into this set and beat the fuck out of these two british dwarves dude fuck yeah dude dude even your dwarves <laughs> suck over there yeah how much a woke dwarf it's ro- offensive <laughs> dude he's a, fu- it's a little wo- a fucking woke dwarf man fuck this little motherfucker dude i power bomb this motherfucker do a goddamn table, dude. He comes over and talks this shit to me. I'll Batista bomb him. Fucking yeah, damn right, dude. I'll fucking beat his little ass. Fucking talking this kind of crazy shit, dude. Dude, our dwarf wrestling over here is on a different level, dude. Our, dwar- our dwarves are on a different level. They wouldn't fucking put up with any of this shit talk. Due to disability to a spectacle, it encourages people in bars and casinos to laugh at us. And it's based on our disability in the same way it was in the side shows and freak shows. All right, Derek? Um, I don't think that's true. Um, I think as I a can smell person, this dwarf's breath, too. <laughs> yeah. Or as a dwarf, I should have every opportunity that anybody else has. And if an average sized person can wrestle, then a dwarf should be able to wrestle. That, well, that sounds like an American dwarf. Of course, I would, I would say it. About this, that we have the National Dwarf Games. There's the there's the World Dwarf Games. These are serious competitions, like the Paris. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're serious. I mean, <laughs> they're serious competitions, you know, and stuff. Yeah, sure. Yeah, falls <laughs> like whatever, right? Yeah, Olympics or the the Olympics. And can we not do? Can we not with Pierce Morgan? Like, can I just wake up? Like the same way I woke up today and I heard that Diane Feinstein was dead. Can I just wake up tomorrow and hear that Pierce Morgan is dead? No, wow. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait another fucking thirty years for that one, dude. He's gonna <sighs> hold on for a long time, TJ. Spite is a powerful thing. It's a powerful if, tool to keep you alive. What if he like gets a heart attack or something? You know, he'll survive it. <sighs> yeah, uh, you have wrestlers who wrestle competitively uh, who are dwarfs, but you also have wrestlers who are you know normal wrestlers if you like who are you know not dwarves who do both types they do sporting wrestling and they do entertainment wrestling what is the difference between dwarves who take part in the world dwarf games at serious wrestling and those who take part like Derek in entertainment wrestling well I don't believe that I don't know if there is wrestling in the dwarf sports association in fact Dwarf Sports Association UK issued a statement recently saying that they disagree with events that harm the well-being of our community. There's a big difference between average height wrestling and dwarf wrestling. Dwarf wrestling is marketed on our disability. When you see average height wrestling, that doesn't then affect how you see average height people. But when, Man, this is what? Me, That's not this true. Just, yeah, that, that is, yeah, that is completely <laughs> How many times have, have like wrestlers been billed? I mean, like all of us have watched a bunch of wrestling like Six nine, three hundred and sixty pounds. Like, dude, like wrestling has always been about stats and shit like that. Like, someone's a beast, someone's a giant, someone's tiny, someone can do this. Like, wrestling's all about your physical dude, attributes, bitch. There is literally, like, in terms of representation in a fucking sport, there is more body types represented in, like, what he calls entertainment wrestling than in any other fucking sport on the face of the earth. Because there are wrestlers that are fucking little tiny dwarfs. There are wrestlers that are fucking giant, huge, fat guys. And there is fucking, you know, people who are like fucking seven feet tall. And then there's like little guys and like every fucking build you could imagine. I mean, it's like every kind of fucking physicality is represented in that fucking ring by some fucking entertainer that can do something special. Yes, that's, the, that's the whole point. So, it's for entertainment. So this is like just a really stupid fucking argument because like, you know, and like how would you even how would you even go about banning it you just say like what would you do you'd like literally like say like that a person who's a dwarf is not allowed to do that like why are you out there advocating yeah. for like people who are like they're not to allowed to be a performer or entertainer yeah they're not yeah, allowed like, to do that job fuck this little dude he, he doesn't get to fucking tell people what to do he doesn't want to do it that's his business it's like so weird for someone to come up to you and be like, Hey, I'm a dwarf and you're a dwarf. So anyway, I'm going to tell you what you can do because I don't like when you do stuff that I think makes me look bad. It's like, what? Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. I think you'd be a moralizing cunt on TV. It makes me look bad. How about that? 
Yeah. Maybe this other fucking guy should be like, I'm against uh I'm against dwarfs going on TV and fucking offering their fucking opinions. I'm against dwokes. I think when you see dwarf wrestling, that affects how you see people with dwarves in. There are, no, it that doesn't. If, even no, with the women wrestlers, like wouldn't they say mm -hmm. you're selling their bodies? I mean, you could say that about any certain buddy, uh, any certain um, group of people. Yeah, that they're, you're marketing yeah. it on that particular yes. characteristic. It does remind me, Eugene, of, of the argument, for instance, about grid girls. Fuck, who the fuck are you? Who cares? Those are what remind me of grid girls. Like, yeah, why is she chiming in? Who fucking gives a shit what is you got to say? Is anyone here going to be sex cells? Oh. Are you a dwarf? Do I need to hear from your non-dwarf ass on this subject? Get out of here. Let's listen to the fucking dwarf guy talk. Yeah, he's not a fucking trained media personality, but he was coming at the same point. You don't need your ass to come in there with the assist. <clears throat> um, that... You know, you're you're saying some women are saying to that group of women, actually, you're exploiting something about being a woman to earn your money, and it actually demeans it's other their women. Right to, their right to exploit it. Yeah, I mean, like, you should be able to fucking if you want to go out there and do whatever the fuck you want to do with in terms of like be be a fucking wrestler or whatever. You got a marketable fucking attribute or ability that people are willing to fucking pay to see. Then you, that's your fucking right, whether you want to fucking use it's that opportunity a, or not. It's up to an individual. No one else should be coming group. up to you and saying like, "Nah, man, you're not allowed." You'll make us look bad. Okay. How is so, this be the stereotype that the rest of us then have to battle? Yeah. This is the choice of a few then affects. The you have to battle it. Does that? Does everyone yeah. approach you on the street when you're out? Like you're a wrestler, right? Is that your just everyday life? You're accused of being a wrestler at all times. You have to battle against that. Everyone thinks I'm a wrestler just because I'm a dwarf their choice we have to fight these stereotypes I, it's 2018 we need more eddie simmons and i don't understand Millie how Hulkins. that affects your ability to decide what you want in life but these guys are earning a good living right you like, make good money yes right? you, you tour yep. america without apparently yeah fucking america the land of opportunity apparently much of kickback from people i mean people yeah because we're not a bunch of pussies i mean we are kind of now but not as much as you guys i guess when it comes to dwarf wrestling dude we fully embrace it Except it as what it is. Yeah, entertainment. definitely. It does seem a bit odd to me that they can't exercise their right as a dwarf to do this in the name of entertainment, given that, as I think you, I use the wrong phrase, normal height, but what would you say? Average height. Average height. Average height people do both, and nobody seems to mind that they do wrestling as a sport and wrestling as entertainment. Well, I don't understand why that can't apply well, to well, North. Let, let, me take, let me take a point there. You said that there's no kickback in America. That's not true. Little people of America condemned dwarf wrestling. They published campaign materials for people to um, protest against it. So that's not true. In terms of average height wrestling versus dwarf wrestling... That's one wrestling, group of people. I thought it's not representative of everyone's opinion. Even if every fucking dwarf, but like two, were like, we hate this, and the two that didn't hate it were doing it, like that would still be their fucking choice. And like the idea that some mob of people can just like, no, you're not allowed to do what you want because we don't like it. Like, I don't care. Like take dwarfs out of it. Like based on like, we share an attribute. Therefore I have control over your life. No, you fucking don't go fuck yourself. As I've said, advertising wrestling doesn't affect how people see advertising people. Dwarf wrestling does affect how people see people. So we how like can you even prove that like how does no. it do that like how, how does it affect the way they fucking see him i mean i i could see i can see like i'm trying to be fucking open-minded here yeah fair go ahead and like you know dwarves historically were you know uh, dressed up and paraded around for laughs and shit Sure. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people that go to these dwarf wrestling things to have a chuckle at a couple of little guys fucking getting it on in the ring or whatever. Yeah, but those are the same people are going to do that if they see the, a dwarf in public. They're not going to. They're not going to be any fucking different. They're not going to suddenly have this massive level of empathy because it's, it's not an entertainment context. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I can understand why uh, you know these guys would see it as an exploitative and shit. Look, I just I, I just think that, you know, it, it it's up to dwarves to not participate in this. And I'll if go if they don't feel that way, then I'm not going to step in and tell them they can't do something. Right. Know? I'll go to this level of generosity. Like. 
I can see if I was like a dwarf being like personally like, man, I fucking hate that shit. And that's so fucking denigrating and shit. But for me to think that because I feel that way, I then have the right to go to that person who makes his living doing that and be like, no, you shouldn't be allowed. You shouldn't be even able to make these decisions because I don't like the way it makes me feel. It's like, that's just I mean, more, that's just moralizing finger wagging <laughs> fucking bullshit. That's just, I've, I've heard you, I've heard you get that from atheism. Right. Well, like TJ, he's not, he's not representative of atheism. To me, he it comes that. from the same place of like the person who wants to burn the book or ban the fucking video or whatever the fuck, you know? And it just, I don't know. It, it really, like this kind of like censorship for the sake of like, we're going to like get rid of this and that and the other thing. And we're going to make humanity better that way or something. Like, I don't think that fucking works. It's, it's the old saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I mean, I'm sure this guy has good intentions. He doesn't want doors to be just marginalized and treated like shit. And I, and you know, I don't blame him for that, but this isn't the way to do it. <clears throat> we should work. I mean, I've watched some dwarf wrestling matches and like some of them are actually pretty fucking technically pretty cool. Like a lot of these dudes can actually do some really cool athletics and stuff. And yeah, it's like kind of a funny thing to watch because you're not used to seeing people with those body types and shit. But like at the end of the day, I don't really feel like it foments like hatred against them or something. Like I'm not sitting there like, man, these things are like subhuman to me. I don't even think they're people. <laughs> you know, it's like. That's kind of weird. Imagine about what other people are going to think about us. I don't think the dwarf gauntlet is inevitable. We don't, I don't think there's enough dwarf content out there. Maybe I'm wrong. Then what should we do? What is loud? At what point are the, we allowed to draw the line? I believe that if it's not degrading me and not literally making fun of me, and I feel that I am not being degraded, that um, I'm taken seriously, and that at the end of the day, I'm happy with what I do, and I'm not physically or mentally hurting anybody, it should be okay. But yep. I mean, but what about what you make me look bad? But what about my feelings as a guy that's <laughs> sitting on his couch at home? Yeah, like you're allowed to have those feelings. You're allowed to completely disagree with this guy on the right here, but that doesn't give you the right to stop him. Do little wrestlers get their own storylines? I mean, I'm sure they a, do. It's a storyline driven industry. Yeah, yeah, I can't imagine they wouldn't. Like, of course they do. Like, no one goes to watch, like, sports entertainment style wrestling for the matches. I mean, I guess some people might, but most people are there because they fucking are interested in the characters and like the spectacle. There are so many ways. That's a good to, argument, there are, there are so many ways to earn a living these days. It's 2018. Yeah, so you say I can't earn it the way I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a prick dude. Uh, that's exactly what he's saying. By the way, he's saying don't earn money the way that you want. <laughs> Dude, he's a wolf. I mean, this dude on the left's a little fucking cunt. He won't even look the guy like he he's looking the guy on the right's looking at him, but he won't even look at him. He yeah, has the fucking even... balls to fucking look at. Him. I mean, it's like, look, you know, if you want if it was like a, a normal size person or average size person, you want to fucking say on the right saying that to him, and he it was like, I don't want to look at you. That's another Horns fucking dwarf. <laughs> Hornswoggle was Vince McMahon's illegitimate son in a storyline last year. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Kind of shit I want to fucking hear, uh, dude. Yeah. In fact, you, who are you to listen to what he just said and say that is not his right to make that choice? If he was being forced to do this, right? You know, I get how in the early days of circuses <laughs> that dwarfs were used in, I think, a very degrading manner, right? And it's absolutely right that we've moved on. But when I talk to Derek uh, here, he seems to be thoroughly enjoying what he does. He doesn't feel remotely degraded. He's earning a good living. He's entertaining people. I don't get why you yeah. feel you have the right to tell well, him but, like I he say, shouldn't be. Man, it's pretty fucking bad. God, I mean, you I got me it, fucking dude. nodding along with fucking Pierce Morgan, you <laughs> fucking prick. He's making way more fucking sense. Do you have any idea how fucking wrong you have to be for me to be sitting here listening to Pierce Morgan talk and be like, yeah, unfortunately, that's right. Like, ugh. It feels so fucking I, I, gross. Well, this guy I don't feel has actually made, has, has genuinely addressed that point. I feel like he just goes back to the same talking point. Of, like he has never addressed it. I hope here he's going to actually have some reputation of that. And I think you made position. It, you fucking called it when you just said like he won't even look at the other guy. He like won't yeah. even fucking he won't even treat the dude next to him like a human being. Yeah, it's there's no respect because obviously he just disagrees with them so much. Like, oh, you're just you're, you're he's like honestly he's dehumanizing him, which is kind of fucking crazy that he's supposedly so much into this and about like. 
people like his size having rights and being respected and treated equally, which they should be 100%. But then to not even look the other person in the eye and not have any good answers to these questions. And I mean, not only that, but it's like his whole thing is like, man, they're, they're, they just don't take us seriously and they're denigrating us. It's like, don't you feel like you're denigrating him by like, you won't even look at him in the eye while he's trying to fucking talk to you. I'm not saying he's got to do it the whole time, but it's like, he's, I purposely, I've noticed like, just not even looked at him once. Yeah. He won't, just, he's like acting like he's not there and just talking to Pierce and the, the, the normal size people. Be doing it. Like I say, it's not just me. No. There's a huge amount of support. He's going out of his way not to even look at the other guy. That's just bizarre. Yeah, but I'm asking you what well, well, your objection I'll, really I'll try is. To answer your right. question. Of course there is a choice, but the choice of the few affects the ability of the many to lead lives we value. This is what's going I mean, this, this would be like me as a fat guy going, you know, I think it really denigrates fat people to have these, you know, these like internet live streams where fat people gorge themselves and people watch it you know what i mean mm -hmm. like this feederism stuff really denigrates fat people turns them into a spectacle blah 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 you know like i i just don't i just don't see the angle here like if you want to improve the lot of dwarves then don't attack the way that they make money <laughs> you know what i mean like go after Go after the industries that won't employ employ dwarves. Go after because, like, if it's a quality you're after, then being able to participate in a fucking wrestling show certainly falls under that banner. Yeah, yeah I don't understand why you'd want less opportunities for people like you in the world. That doesn't really make sense to me at all. Impact because on your life well, because, because, because it reinforces a stereotype. Yeah, and it's stereotype. What is, that, the, what is what stereotype does it reinforce that you're wrestlers? I don't understand. I I, I don't get it. Oh, the, the, I, I'm I, I'm assuming he's saying just like doors are just for other people's amusement. And I guess yeah, for people to gawk at, they're a spectacle. You know, they treated the differently. Is, they're laughed at. I get what he's saying, and I don't necessarily disagree. But I don't like. Think, I'm, I don't think this wrestling thing is like really the driving force behind that maybe it's a contributing factor i don't know but i mean it's definitely connected to it for sure he's like you know like i i agree i agree with a lot of what he's saying in terms of like dwarf wrestling probably being related to you know the freak shows and shit i i can imagine that's probably where it started I'm was sure. you know just having a couple of little guys fight it out for everybody to chuckle at and shit like i get what he's saying I just don't think that um, because he finds it offensive, there should be any fucking impetus to stop it from happening. Like, like dwar dwarves have autonomy. They can decide what they want to do and they can be offended or not offended at their, you know, at their own leisure. Sure. It can't be entertaining. That dwarves belong in, in entertainment based on our bodies. That is a stereotype. So no dwarf can be involved in anything that is entertainment because actually that may reinforce the stereotype you if, don't like. If entertainment then affects the rest of our ability mm -hmm. to live lives we value, to choose our own self-image and project that. But he's okay, not wait, how how that's that's so stupid, that, dude. If, dude, if some, if some dude in a fucking wrestling ring can take that away from you, then your shit is so fucking dude, fragile. It's incredible. Who was one of the fucking biggest stars in the world based on and, and uh, him being a dwarf was like up was Peter Dinklage, <laughs> Game of Thrones. One of the best fucking characters on that show and it was at least when it was decently written. I mean, would you argue that? Oh, I mean, oh, well, you know... That wasn't a uh, that wasn't a good portrayal because of you know it, 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 he, like a lot a lot of scenes he was denigrated by his family and mistreated by his family for being a dwarf. It's like didn't that actually get people to see dwarves as more human and empathize with them more and understand his plight as a character? So this ar argument that all entertainment is going to paint someone a negative light, yeah, if they just came out then the only thing they did was like where dwarves, where dwarves, where dwarves, where the if that's the show. Then I agree with the guy, but I doubt that's what it is. I'm sure there's a storyline. They're actually wrestling. They're putting on a fucking show for people. Yes, if, is, is that a, is that a way to market it? But that's just good marketing. Why would you not lean into things that's going to make you fucking money? Yeah, if a dude is a giant, their market is a fucking giant. If a dude is fucking and a lot of huge. people who have giantism have health problems. Is that exploiting them? Oh my god, they're those poor people. I mean, like, so what? I mean, if they if they fully understand what they're getting into and they're and it's not just purely for exploitation or just the fucking mm -hmm. sideshow, and people have informed consent and this guy's being paid and he's doing a serious act and he's a serious performer, 
I don't see the fucking goddamn argument this guy is making. Besides, I'm just offended. And if that's all you've got, then fuck off. I don't care that you're offended. That's yeah. that, that's not a good argument. I mean, if really. dwarves were being like press ganged into doing this shit, I'd understand, but they're not. You know, like he even made the argument himself. There's plenty of ways to make money in 2023. You know, so the the dwarves that are engaging in this are choosing to do so, and. No, it's not like there's no other option for them. Like, I think this argument would have made more sense back, you know, in the fucking lollipop guild day or whatever the fuck. <laughs> we you know? represent the lollipop guild. Like, you know, they, 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 dwarves really at that time didn't have a way to support themselves other than being a spectacle. Now they do. And uh, they have a choice in the matter. And some of them choose to fucking be a spectacle. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, you know, we got this cryptid shit here in America. But did you know they have that shit over in, uh, in Britain? Oh, my God, dude. Cars. British cryptids are going to be the lamest cryptids. I'm just calling it now. They're going to be the silliest, lamest. The scone cryptids. muncher. Yep. <laughs> the scone muncher. The stag men, Scotty. Mr. Straight Teeth. <laughs> Look, it's abnormal teeth. So straight. Stout and brave, though our hunters be, afore cruel stag men all wouldst flee. Okay. <sighs> For at least 500 years, there have been reports of stagmen who run wild with herds of British deer. Stagmen? Yep. It's oh a fucking stagman, it is. So wait, your guys' cryptid is just like dudes that run with wild deer? That's it? Yes. <laughs> okay. The stories share a few common elements. Oh, yeah. Only one stag man is seen within a single herd. Whatever you do, don't brush your teeth, because if you do, Mr. Straight Teeth will come in the night and steal him away. No, Daddy, please. Right on hind legs. His body is furry, and his antlers are at least as... All right, so this is some dumb, this is some dumb shit. Living back in the fucking 1700s in the in the fucking United Kingdom or Wales or someplace that saw a deer stand up on its hind legs like it's a stag man, you age. <laughs> it's all this is. Stag man. Dude, of course they have the lamest cryptids, dude. dude they, you know what? They need to come and fucking steal some American cryptids. Get some fucking real creativity, guys. Come on. Yeah, this is fucking. Some weird Man, shit. Paul is right. This is the lamest fucking cryptid I've ever fucking seen. I knew it. It's just I a fucking. It it's just a no fucking deer. shock. It's just a deer that stands up. Like, how is this? How does this capture anyone's fucking popular imaginations? I want to know. Yeah, where's the jackalope? Where's the Jersey Devil? You know, nowhere to be found. Ordinary stags in the herd. Is this creature mythical? Or could it be a very real, unknown animal that has inhabited our woodlands and forests for as long as man has walked on these islands? Stagmen. Da, da, da. Dude, this just reminds me of... Uh... Uh, National Lampoon's European vacation where they get to that fucking British hotel and the kids are trying to watch TV and there's four channels and it's all the same documentary about how to make Roquefort cheese or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Just like, I can't imagine landing on this and being like, all right, I'll give this a watch then. <laughs> Let's see about them stagmen. In 1891, the Reverend J.C. Atkinson came face to face with a stag man whilst hiking in the Yorkshire Dales. His memoirs describe how he and his companion came across a herd of deer 
as they were making their way across a meadow. Suddenly, an antlered beast emerged from the herd and, walking on its hind legs, came up close to the hikers. Once the deer had retreated to safety, the stag man snorted loudly at the men and then trotted away, still upright, to the astonishment of the eyewitnesses. He snorted, huh? Yep. How fucking interesting. Yeah, he let out a big old snort. He's like, <sighs> and just you know, he wa- he walked away. <laughs> Man, fucking stag men suck. Yeah, this is the worst cryptid. But some encounters with stag men are not as sedate. Okay. I should hope not. In the 1860s, a stag man pulled one young rider from his horse and gored him with its antlers before making off. The man later died of his injuries. How do you know it wasn't just a fucking stag then? (laughs) His fellow hunters watched a large furry animal bolting from the scene on its hind legs. One man took a shot but missed. Following the incident, it was observed that the foxhounds were unnerved and the hunt was abandoned shortly afterwards. Yeah, I mean, some dude died, so. It's, yeah, I mean, it's like literally just a deer. Like, who cares? Enough. All right, here's some British commercials. a certain gooey thing that helps us all to survive well it's jizz is it jizz <laughs> yeah i'm starting to think it might be jammy. Yeah, it's jammy. It's jammy. jammy jammy dodgers jammy Oh, Jamie. It's Jamie. Jamie is the one you love. Man, they, they, they can't even do this right, dude. They can't even do the old American staple of like, instead of advertising the product, you just put something weird up there and associate it in people's minds. Like, even their, even their fucking versions of that are shit. I know. Because unless they're just trying to make their product seem like vaguely terrifying to me, this is not a great commercial. Dude, and this commercial is so annoying. Can you imagine like having to sit through this multiple fucking times? No. This terrible fucking jammies song. No, I can't. Imagine. This would be a mute for me for sure. Jammy. Maynard's original wine gums are filled with delicious, juicy flavor, just waiting to be set loose. All you've got to do is chew. <laughs> Oh my god, kill me now. <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't I can't. A fucking dancing bagpipe, dude. Nah. Uh-uh. I I can't do it. I can't do this. It's only five more hours left. Hoots mom, there's juice. Loose I'm in this house. Set the juice loose. Wine gums? Yeah. You never had it, sounds a wine like, gum? it sounds like something an alcoholic gets or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, well, sorry, mate. You've got wine gums. <laughs> <laughs> wine gums. My teeth keep falling out. Well, no wonder you got wine gums. Worst case I ever saw. This is called Nolan's Nuts. 
Man, are they all musical too? Fuck me. And this song I know is copyrighted, so I'm just gonna fucking have to play with this thing. Yeah. Okay. It's that song with this squirrel. Still going. Can't come up with their own fucking song either. Gotta use one of ours. Yep. All right. This squirrel's not gonna be hit by a car, is it? That's what it seems like. I hope not. But I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past these scumbags. He did get hit by a car. But now he's like I don't know, getting back together or something. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Uh, he like reinflates himself after he got hit. Because the nuts were that good, I guess. Yeah, and fuck them. Fuck those sadistic fucks, dude. Had to use a cute little squirrel getting hurt. What? <sighs> Gotta use all our fucking music too. None of their music's fucking good enough. Dude, who's <laughs> whose fucking idea was this one? I don't know. Confused.com for car insurance. You guys have a car insurance company called Confused? dot com oh god i'm confused dot com <laughs> me too collect 1000 nectar points when you buy your car insurance through confused.com oof fucking oof man that was not fucking fun Yeah, I guess uh I guess technically ACDC are Australian, but whatever. Fuck you. It's still it's American. Fuck they're, you. They're they're honorary Americans. Let's be you let's be real here. Mm-hmm. Somebody somebody mentioned Hitchens before. I was like Hitchens was not British, dude. Yeah, don't, wasn't he living in America by the end? Yep. He was an American. He came here where he because he knew. He knew Their best always sucked. do come here. Yeah, that's like the thing is like whenever you guys do get something going for yourselves, like we pretty much get that shit. Like where did John Lin- Lennon live at the end of his life? I'll wait. Where did all the Beatles live? I'll wait. Seeing a watch you eat. Oh, if only you had a continental head. Bob is your uncle. Heineken premium continental beer. Now, simply imagine the lobster has done you a terrible wrong. You arrive home early to find seaweed on your doorstep. Something smells fishy. Yeah, there's no way you're going to be able to smell that in Britain. (laughs) (laughs) Freedom, mare. Up to her neck in salty water with his antennae flip flapping all over her face. Ah, Executed like a true continental. His wife was fucking a lobster? I guess. Okay. I guess that's what we're supposed to take. Heineken. Get the head right, and the rest will follow. All right. Sure thing, bud. What kind of weird BDSM shit was that? You fucking tell me. I mean, it was kind of hot, but that's your world, not mine. You gotta fucking I explain. I just didn't expect to see it so brazen, <laughs> right on the fucking airwaves and shit. Longest stretchiest fruity snack around. You're gonna be stretched on the rack, little pig. Around, around. <laughs> New strawberry fruit winders from Kellogg's. In three fruity flavors. Kellogg's real fruit winders and wind the fruity fun forever. 
Dude, why did that? Why did that tagline have the vague area uh, aura of menace to me? Unwrap the fruity fun forever. <laughs> I don't it's know like the a, word. Uh, the word forever kind of always feels like a thread at the end of a sentence, right? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> It's the longest, stretchiest, fruity snack around, around, around. New orange fruit winders from Kellogg's. In three fruity flavors. New Kellogg's real fruit winders. Unwind the fruity fun forever. Forever. And the Unwind commercial, the fruity fun. The commercials pretty much uh, always concern like some kind of like fruit people that are being like tortured through like stretching or crushing until they're like fruit by the foot i guess okay First vertical drop roller coaster at Alton Towers. Alton Towers. Dude. <laughs> oh, the nihilism of that oblivion. <laughs> it's like it, it heavily implies like you're falling to your death. It's like it must be like what it's like living in the United Kingdom. You just feel like you're in oblivion constantly. Alton Towers. Oblivion. We have weird like fruit people being crushed and racked, and, <laughs> and, and you'll have to be there forever. Go to their fucking theme parks. Oblivion. <laughs> Ride the oblivion into oblivion. Alton Towers. Come for the rides. Stay forever. See how hardcore this fucking ride really is after a commercial like that. Dude, these fucking British fucks just want to die. I, I, I get it now. They want to die. Oh, That's yeah. why the smart ones leave for America. <laughs> A short ride. I'm surprised they even have a roller coaster in this country. So that fucking ad was pretty intense. So I'm expecting this to be a pretty fuck. This better be a pretty goddamn intense roller coaster. Yeah, so far, I mean, for all that know, shit, like all that dramatic lighting and like, don't look. I gotta be honest with you, down. not impressed so far. I mean, TJ, look, I've, I'm a roller coaster expert. I've ridden almost every roller coaster you can imagine. You know, I, I know roller coasters. Clearly. Yeah. So far, I'm just not, you know, okay. I, don't know. I mean, it hasn't even really fucking started yet. Uh, you know, I'm just giving you my honest opinion, TJ. I mean, so far, I'm just not wowed. All right. So here's the drop. This, no. This is the drop? I think. They're is not even it? like, they're like 10 feet off the ground. Yeah. Let's see this. Fucking... <laughs> what? Oh, okay. look down. It's like the first drop. Okay. It goes into a hole. Oh, that is kind of cool. All right. No, that's that's not it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That fucking crazy commercial <laughs> led to that fucking light. Dude, no, it, dude, that's what they it got. Doesn't even do anything else? <laughs> it's literally just that drop. It I, just flushes you down the toilet. Go look, up, uh, go look up like I think it's like Goliath, dude. In, uh, okay. Magic Mountain. You do All the right. same thing, but way fucking cooler. Hold on. It's like a giant, but the drop is way fucking higher, and you go into a hole in the ground. I've fucking literally been on that roller coaster. All right, hold on. I'm doing it for you. You say Magic or Six Flags, Magic Mountain? Yeah, something like that. Okay. If it's Six Flags, I've been on it. You don't go into a hole. You go into, like, a tunnel, I think. Yeah, something. I mean, that's, that's basically what you go into with that. I mean, you do drop into something that's very narrow from, like, when you're at the top. And yeah, look how fucking high up they are, too. You're super high up, and then I believe from here you're gonna go right down into like a little tunnel, like balls does. But it, like from the your perspective, of the top is like you're going to a fucking hole. Whoa. That's the right one I'm thinking of. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a pretty nasty drop too. For this type of coaster, 
But yeah, you go into a tunnel. I mean, it's not as, as quite inverted as the other one, but I mean, it's... Yeah, but dude, you know what? Why? It's not it a also, steep a drop, but it's way higher off the ground. And it also doesn't just fucking unceremoniously end after one little fucking drop. It keeps doing shit. Yeah. So, like, yes, yeah, so this is the coasters you get in America versus the fucking, like, two second. I mean, I, can you imagine waiting a long ass fucking line? Right? Yeah, for one fucking drop? Yeah, basically for one fucking drop. Yeah, they're roller coasters. They can't even do a roller coaster ride over there. And then they're going to fucking have that intense ass ad like, don't look down. Prepare for the ultimate in terror. Dude, I was expecting, to be honest with you, just like some crazy high fucking drop. Like, okay, like I I'm expecting like you're going up like three or four hundred fucking feet. It's and fucking down. called Oblivion, dude. They, they, they said it was the world's first vertical drop or something, too. Like, yeah, like no, what? it isn't. <laughs> X at fucking uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. I think it's called X2 now. It fucking drops you uh, backwards and upside down off of a vertical drop. So. That's way fucking cooler. Why are all their fucking why are the, all their shit is just so ominous and dark? Like why? Yeah, did someone watch know. the fucking ring and then it's like, okay, now this is the perfect ad for I'm guessing another roller coaster? You've got to go. because their roller coasters suck so bad that they feel like they need to really amp them up with some crazy ads. I gotta like reenact the tree rape scene from fucking Evil Dead to sell this fucking roller coaster. Okay. Join us. No. I don't want to join us, TJ. The world's first 14 looping roller coaster. Book now at orphantowers.com. Now it's another it's another world's first. What's that? The Smiler? The, the world's smiler. first 14. Look that one up, dude. I'm actually coaster. curious to see that one. Yeah, right. Right. I want to see the Smiler. What a stupid name, by the way. It's the fucking Smiler, it is. Okay, this one actually does look pretty fucking cool. I mean, if it's cool, I mean, I'm not, I'll call it cool if it's cool. Got a POV here. Yeah, give me the fucking POV. There we go. All right, this is just the lead up going up the thing. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. Not super high up, but I mean, obviously, that's not supposed to be the thing with this one. Okay, well, this one's like more inversion. about this more is about the inversions and the flips and shit. Okay, yeah, you got a number of inversions here. Oh, damn, another one. All right, there's supposed to be 14, so it's supposed to fucking go upside down like a motherfucker. <clears throat> I've done one of these like switchback boomerang kind of flips, those are always fun. This one actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I'm not like super into inversions and shit, but. Oh shit! Here's another one. So you got track here. So what is this? All right. Gonna do? So we're gonna go up again. All right. This this one so far like does look appealing to me. Yeah. Go this is way side. better than fucking Oblivion. I think they should have cast Oblivion into Oblivion because that one sucks. <laughs> yeah, that one is just the like, fucking brain dead. That's like there's just there's nothing to that one. This actually is a respectable fucking roller coaster. Oh shit! Okay, this is cool. Now we're gonna go drop down right into an inversion or something here. Mm, I gotta be honest, that was not a good transition. Yeah, like I don't understand why I had to go. So, I mean, it could have had like, like they at least wasted a drop that. or something, you know? Like, yeah, this is like a mid-tier coaster. 
I mean, yeah, this I mean is, it's got a lot of inversions. So if you're really a big fan of that in a roller coaster, I could see like this being pretty cool. But I mean, at least it's got something going on for it. It's not just like one drop and then you're fucking done. So I'll say this is at least a respectable roller coaster, but not worth the fucking crazy tree rape ad they gave it. I'd like to talk to you about something. I don't want you to talk to me about anything. Get the fuck away from me. What the fuck are you? Like some kind of fucking butter demon? I'm close to my heart. Would care. People often ask me how I manage to look so good when I spend so much time outside. I'll show you. For the last hour, my right leg has been soaking in a well-known wood preserver. Hmm. My left leg, however, has been soaking in a bowl of cuprinol wood preserver. Impressive, isn't it? Because cuprinol wood preserver penetrates ten times more than many other treatments, it means I have that much more protection against damp, frost, fungus, woodworm, and of course, rain. Cuprinol. No one does wood more good. All right, so this guy is a demon from another dimension that's going to kill you. He's going to preserve your wood so your body can be preserved forever. No one does wood more good. No one does <laughs> wood more good. <laughs> Just let that one slip by me. You're right. What the fuck? <laughs> no one does wood more good. All right, bro. Okay. This little boy is trying to make himself big enough to eat a whole packet of his favorite new monster munch. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Monster munch. They're monstrous. That was just that just I had no fucking feelings about that. That was just nothing to me. It's just your standard kid really wants to eat something, so they're going for it. There's another one of the same. Inside bags of monster munch, you can find millions of monster gripper clippers. So if you haven't found one yet, there's no need to go. Gripper there. clippers? It's a fucking yeah. man, what a shitty prize, dude. Stay Monster Munch, you monstrous. Okay. The thing I, no, I'm not doing another Monster Munch commercial. Next. It's Monster Munch, TJ. Dude, TJ can't handle the Monster Munch, dude. They're just boring. There's, just, there's nothing even to say about them. You love them. Ah, uh, dude, ear rape. <laughs> why is why are so many of these just so fucking loud and screeching and horrible? Because that makes you want to buy products. I mean, if you've heard a British person talk, you really have to be annoying to get over the sound of that. <laughs> All right, so I have weird face spasm the twerking. Fucker, what the fuck is this? What is what? I've got an idea for an ad. A child has a stroke on national television. <laughs> yeah. Like what? what the fuck is this? How about a child rubs a balloon annoyingly? I, 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 you know what's the next? Nails on a fucking chalkboard? To sell fucking chocolate? I mean, isn't chocolate pretty much sell it fucking self? Why is nothing named properly? What the fuck is dairy milk, dude? <laughs> Would you like some dairy milk, Paul? What other kind of milk is there? I, I mean, I guess uh, there's all, like all this bullshit milk now. Almond but it's milk a, but, it's, but it's but a it's chocolate. Not even, yeah, it's a dairy milk. Get you a dairy milk. Give me milk. a Cadbury dairy milk chocolate. So after what we've just seen, you wouldn't believe these motherfuckers actually have the nerve to talk shit on us. 
but they do. Oh, hell no. Hello, I'm Leah Hatsakis, and today we're going to be finding out about stereotypes of Americans from British people in London. So let's go find out some stereotypes. Oh, my God. I can't wait to know what this fucker thinks of me. Yeah, oh, mind, Amer- Amer- there's an American brand right behind this British fuck, too. He's probably Oakley's. drinking a fucking Starbucks coffee right now. I can't tell if that's a drinking Starbucks. Drinking a fucking cup, Starbucks, but... probably fucking on his way to a goddamn McDonald's in front of an Oakley goddamn sunglasses store. But yeah, America sucks, right? Well, let's see. Maybe it's going to be a positive stereotype. All right, fair enough. Fair they enough. don't get our humor. They don't get our humor. You don't have humor. <laughs> they what don't humor? get our humor, mate. They don't get it. Like, uh, yeah, you're right. I don't. I don't get Honestly, what's a bunch funny of about a boomers. fucking kid's eyebrows spasming to a terrible screeching song. A to bunch sell of boomers love dairy milk Python and other shit like that. There's, there's, there's been a number of British comedians that have come over and been successful. So I don't think that's true. Large portions. Yeah. Um, oh, God. I was going to say something really offensive then. And I think... Go ahead and say it, bitch. Say it. Yeah, we want to hear. <laughs> what are stereotypes? Oh, she's not going to say it? Fucking what a loser. My movie has stopped recording again. Whatever. Um, I'm too tired. That's just life now. Stereotypes that British people have about Americans. Is that they're all fat? Yeah, they are fat, aren't they? They're really obese. I think because they're the food. Well, no, they're not, but that's just like a stereotype. What? Stereotypes do no, they do are. Really yeah, we I mean, are. Americans look <laughs> fair enough. Americans are some fat fucks, but British people, I mean, yeah, you guys not... aren't. You ain't far behind us, and the bitch that said that was fat. Yeah, you guys are not. I mean, like, I think it's like what, like, we looked it up like 20. It was like we're like, we're like, we're like, at, we're like at 40, they're like at 30. Basically. Yeah, so that's like, you know, okay, it's like, I mean, you ain't, I guess fucking... you got us there. Yeah, but it's still pretty fucking close. You lag. You ain't lagging that fucking far behind us, motherfuckers, right? Because our food has flavor, of course. Close your ears. They're all awesome. That's nice. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is true. Yeah. What are? Yeah, so the, yeah, yeah, there's American client. Oh yeah, I love Americans. They're great. That British people have about American people. Um, they're really loud. <laughs> you said that uh, American. Oh. Listen to these screeching yeah. harpies talk about how loud we are, apparently. Give me a break. It's so fucking ridiculous. I don't know. 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 Fuck them. They yell the top they're the really loud. Yeah. Um, any others? Mm. And do you think that's true? Yeah. yeah. Loud. Yeah. 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 A little bit stupid. <laughs> um oh go um, fuck yourself lady <laughs> oh what man you can't have you have no room to talk motherfucker All Dude, right, guys, only I mean, only look. we get to rag on how stupid we are okay none of you motherfuckers gets to chime in yeah when you don't fucking come from the land of like i'm rondy fucking picking me look. mate if like, you, got, you, if you guys if you take shit. London out of the equation, you guys are Mississippi. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <clears throat> you guys are literally fucking Mississippi. If you take <laughs> one fucking city out of your country. Really? Donald Trump is in power, guys. I mean, and yeah, those yeah, people voted yeah. that man in. I think they have you had fuck didn't you have your own Trump at the same time? Yeah, like, you Boris had your little fucking, fucking Boris, Boris Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. D- Dollar He's General Trump. Guy. Yeah. If anything, he was a fucking little Trump ripoff, bro. And you guys had a fucking prime minister for what, like forty days or something? Yeah, you don't get to talk shit on our fucking. Leaders. I mean, your, po- your like our politics are dysfunctional, shit. but you know what? At least we kept the fucking president for four goddamn years, and like you motherfuckers can't even keep one for a goddamn couple years. Quite a rash decision. They don't really think about it as much as we do. I just- oh yeah, you guys. What? Really- yeah, every British really person is super yeah. rational. Yeah, they they've got everything fucking thought out over there in Great Britain. Yeah, they're great deep thinkers. Yeah, like over Brexit, there. that was a brilliant fucking decision, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys really thought about that real carefully. Yeah. Huh? We thought about that one real good. Fucking stupid fucks. How come I'm not allowed to do all the stuff I was allowed to do before? Oh, because we did Brexit, dude. I didn't know was gonna do that. <laughs> I just think that they're, they're quite divided, aren't they? Like the left is really left, and yeah. the right is really right, and yeah. like there's no real logic or 
think yeah. like a thinking person's middle ground. Oh, that sounds right. horrible too. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you shouldn't just you just like shouldn't talk, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, this thinking is fucking... hard, so maybe <laughs> maybe go back to the drawing board on that one. That's the thing. I think we apologize for everything we say. Oh well, yeah, yeah. But they don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. That's Great. Yeah. Team. yeah, but your apology is insincere, Great so it's team. meaningless. There you go. Maybe I could. If you say you're sorry for something and it's insincere, then it's just it's basically a rhetorical device. It's not. It doesn't mean you're actually apologizing. The second question. That was the second one. No, the second one is. <laughs> The second question. Uh, you can't even count to two, and you want to fucking dog on Americans, dude. One, three, seven, two. Oh, the stereotypes <laughs> that we have as British people about Americans. So someone earlier said big portions. Yes, true. True. Yeah, I mean, Americans eat pretty big portions. Well, look at this! Look at this big them. giant fucking swamp donkey, dude. What are you eating, little minuscule portion? <laughs> That's true. That's true. But I, I will say that there is truth to that. I mean, American sizes generally are the some of the bigger ones. Yeah, but they I mean, act like they, they act like they're eating like birds over there. You guys <laughs> no, are of course not. Fat. Yeah, you guys aren't Japanese. Come on. <sighs> I heard them Americans a bunch <laughs> of fat folks over there. You know, actually, we're smarter too, though. We think about it. Because our big portions, you know that these British fucks are having to buy like double. Like, so they have to buy like two giant ass. Well, who would want a fucking big portion of British food in the fucking first place? I mean, nobody. Dude, how about a big portion of edible food? How about that? <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, this, this bitch got fat eating beans on toast, bro. Also, the country that invented the English breakfast ain't got no room talking to no one about motherfucking portions. Okay? Yeah, that, that's that, true. It's, just, it's a fucking, it's a goddamn fucking platter of matter. That's what you like. That's what you serve, dude. Like weird fucking floppy bacon. Get out of here, dude. Beans, toast, eggs, fucking like blood sausage. I mean, like those those portions are massive. Eat them, and they like us. As soon as they hear you speak, they just want to, you know, join in with you because they like our accent. I think that they're like chatty British. Yes, oh. they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like some of your accents, but like 90% of them are fucking <laughs> not appealing to me at all. I mean, dude, we do. We are enamored with the fucking British accent yeah. over here. Though. We're enamored with a very particular. Oh, the MP, like the very proper British accent. We like that one. And we like the kind of like over the top Cockney. Oh, the East like London. Up, like yeah. the cleaned up Cockney. You know what I mean? Like the Jason Statham or whatever. That yeah. One. We like yeah. that one. And we like the posh one. And then most of the other ones just sound like mush mouth fucking gutter talk. Like, like, do you think so? Oh, do you? Oh, do you? Do you not like, do you? Yes, in one way. In yeah. one way, yeah. yeah. Do you think it's real or fake, the friendliness? Um, sometimes friend can be fake, sometimes not. Yeah. You just have to be careful who you're talking to. Hey, isn't that true yeah. everywhere? Come on. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, right. like, blame, are you going to blame us for human nature? Yep. Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can you say, um, it's fine for us to put this in the video? Oh, I suppose so. Yeah. Yes. No, I don't yes. mind. Thank you. Yes. No, I won't <laughs> make some. I'll tell you what. Listen. <laughs> you yeah. Can can you, no, what what don't be defeatist. Is there been any point in holding on this? Because, like, as far as I can tell, nothing's happening right now. As far as I can tell, nothing's happening right now. As far as I can tell, nothing's happening right now. Be positive. Got a point? <laughs> Yeah. There was. I was in my garden one day, and these two people come up. I told you, Christine, didn't I? And they were doing a survey, so they said. So they asked me what I thought about where I lived. I told them and what have you. And I've got children. How they that's true. Doing. Someone put in the background. That's the American flag, dude. And they were going to put it in the. You know, like they love us over there. Yeah, that's the little American store. A magazine. They fucking love us, TJ. It was all lies. All oh, lies. No, that's Seriously, not, that's not nice. It was all. See, Americans are all lies. And she said she's talking about some fucking unrelated story about being interviewed for some fucking magazine and they printed the li like lies, I guess. I don't oh, even lies. know. Awful. Oh, lies. Awful. Oh, lies about me. Wow. Well, they might have been still, posing as um, yeah. 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 I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No, it's thank you. It's not. I'm the normal. Good. I'm just a oh, well, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck. Why don't you hit the cutting room floor? <laughs> I don't know if I had a magazine. <laughs> they had nothing else to show. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, very Bye -bye. cute. Bye. Yeah. That's it. 
Yeah. Yeah. So there's nothing there's nothing more. <laughs> Subscribe. Why? Lovely. Why am I gonna do that? Were Absolutely they? Absolutely bloody lovely. Do you know what? Bloody so lovely. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care no more. Garbage in, garbage out. Next. What? <laughs> okay, now I'm intrigued. Swim in the bin, Scotty. They swim in the bin. <laughs> swim in the bin. <laughs> you fucking grow up seeing an Oscar live in a trash can. He's like, that could bite me. On, if you want to fight, yeah, come on then. Fight, ah! Are you enjoying the weather there, mate? What? Are you enjoying the weather there? What are you about? I said, are you enjoying the weather there? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Am I not allowed? Yeah, yeah, but you're, yeah, but you're in the bin. Jesus. <laughs> Machine the fucking bin. Dude, I this, found... is, this is the most British interaction I've ever seen. This dude is just like, the, this is the live action fucking Shrek, dude. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> You're in the bin. What? Enjoy oh, the weather me, in the bin. Give me a break, mate. I'm not in the bin. No, no, I'm, I'm not trying to stop you. I'm just saying you're in the bin. Right, if you want to fight about it, be a man, come out and fight about it. What? To... Yeah, come over. Step to him in the bin, dude. <laughs> Jump in that bin with him. Fight, mate. Meet me in the bin, bitch. You're saying you're in the bin. You're, you're having a cocktail. Listen, not me. If I want to have dude, a... It's like, what was that movie we watched? The terrible movie, like The Iron Circle? I think this guy wants that to happen. He wants another guy to join him in the bin forever. Yeah, that was in that movie, wasn't it? Dude, we're I mean, in the bin with him right now, dude. That's what this yeah. gauntlet is. We're in, we're living in this guy's fucking bin. And we're, we're, we're swimming living in, in the, the bin. bin in his taint. Swim in my own bin on the hottest day that we've ever had in England, then I'm entitled to do so. Mate, I'm just... Who are you to stop me? No, 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 I'm, I'm not trying I to stop... Who are you to stop me? I'm not trying to stop you, mate. No, I'm Where just... Where am I supposed to swim if I can't swim in my Man. own Man... Good. If that's the last vestige of freedom that you have. <laughs> it's a lovely fucking town. I want to play in my fucking bin. <laughs> I turned my bin into a fucking swimming pool. Like, I never said, by the way, that he wanted you not to be in your bin. Yeah, I don't know why the bin dude is so defensive about it. Like, the other guy has not even attacked him for doing it. He just kind of remarked upon it, but whatever. But the leisure center, mate. Leisure center? Yeah. It's too leisure bound. center? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bloody problem. There's, there's no problem. I'm just saying you're in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying swimming. you're in the bin. <laughs> yeah, it's true. As someone in the chat rightly pointed out, swimming usually involves some kind of like you know motion. You're really yeah. just kind of you're kind of soaking in the bin. But why? Yeah. Soaking in trash. Yeah, yeah, but you're in the bin. Yeah, <laughs> in the bin, and you're, but you're in the bin. <laughs> That is the dumbest interaction, but I actually like this one. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you got to say about it? Nothing. I'm just saying you're in the bin, mate. <laughs> but, Ben, oh, yeah? you, you know what you me? are? You're Come in the bin. Over. Come on over and stop me if you want to stop. I don't want to stop you, mate. I'm just saying you're in the bin. <laughs> It's not, it's not a celebration. It's not, it's not like a, a bit. celebration. How is I it? I think I'm entitled to sit in the bin on the hottest day that we've ever had here in Great Britain. Oh, you're perfectly entitled. I'm just saying. You're in the bin. It's like a Monty Python sketch, but real life. Like me? Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, but no, no buts. No, no, but you're having a cocktail in the bin. Yeah, I'm having a cocktail in the bin. <laughs> cocktail in the bin. You want to fight about it? Come here. Yeah. I do want to fight about it. Uh, but yeah, but I don't want to fight. Well, why are you sitting there waffling? Saying you're not allowed to swim in your own bin because you've got to go with all the muppets in the leisure centre. Uh, that's what you want, isn't it? No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You did? No, no, no. I, no. no, he didn't. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say the leisure centre, but I yeah, did some Monty Python shit. Say that. So you, you're arguing again. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just. To, I'm to he's he's more. the one being argumentative. <laughs> <laughs> He's arguing with himself. Of course you are. I'm not. Of course you are. I'm not trying to bring you. You come here first of all, say, "Oi, oi, what are you doing?" Like, he I didn't own... ask what you were doing. He said <laughs> what you were doing. <laughs> in my own house. Yeah. You're not really in your own house. Now, you're outside yeah. of your yeah. house. You yeah, it looks like you're on the fucking street, street, street corner. You can't do this. You can't do that. He didn't say you couldn't do it. 
Yeah. No, 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 no. I'll come out black. I don't want to fuck. Man, I, I got to say something, too. I've got a brown-ass fucking lawn, but I also live, you know, in the drought-stricken. Like, how fu- How much of a fuck-up do you have to be to have a brown lawn in Great Britain where it rains fucking every single day? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, what, that's where a lot of our grass culture comes from, too, is, like, they have a lot of times people in Britain have gardens. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, I'm coming out. All right, you're coming out. Yeah, yeah. I'm... So what's your problem? You're coming out of the right <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm, 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 what's your problem? This guy's just spoiling for a fight, dude. You want to fight? You want to fight? I'll fight you from my bin. No, I'm not perfect, man. You want to see my naked body? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to see my naked body? Are you naked in the bin, dude? Is this He's is naked this courtship? Is this British courtship that we're witnessing? I think, I think you want to so. see my naked booty? It's a real right, sign. <laughs> the man in the bin lets it, let his neighbors know he's available for mating. <laughs> when a British male is of mating age, he climbs <laughs> into the bin. He is approached by one of his younger neighbors who is curious, <laughs> though he is defensive. All right, sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. <laughs> you really should right. be, man. Come on, if you want to fight, yeah, come on then. Fight, his advance is rejected. Oh, he no, will no, tip no. the man out of his bin. All right, man. Then. Come on then. Come on then. Do what they can't do. Come on then. Go out there then. Don't say come on. I've told you to come on. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I've told you. What are you gonna do? I'm not. You're the guy in the bin. All right, then, what are on. you gonna do? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Tomatinos. Tomatinos, am I coming in clearly? Can you hear me? It is I, Senor Tomat. It has taken all of my strength to reach you from beyond the cosmic tomato vine. I will soon manifest in your material plane on October 6th at the space in Las Vegas, Nevada. You must follow the rules, my little Tomatinos. Or all shall be lost. First, procure your tickets now. The link is below. Only a few remain. So you must act with haste, lest you be left behind. Secondly, bring no weapons with you on the holy day of October the 6th. My cosmic energy is weakened by violencia of any kind. Third, Be safe, Tomatinos. Surely the nectar of the vine of life is sweet, but you must know your limits. Procure a safe place to stay. Procure a safe ride home. I would surely perish if any of my precious little Tomatinos are hurt. Lastly, prepare yourselves for the greatest night of your life. TJ, Paul, and Scotty will be there. Fun will be had. Memories to last a lifetime will be made. I I must go now, Tomatinos. I grow weak. I will see you on October the 6th at the Space in Las Vegas, Nevada. Do not, do not let me down. <laughs>